22 boxes, a quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Welcome to the Dream Factory. You know, when we started Deal or No Deal all those years ago, there were those people who said, oh, that's a bit of a simple game, isn't it? And of course, what we found over the years is that actually it becomes more and more complex and some players make it incredibly complex. But all you have to do, as Lynn proved yesterday, is remember and have in the forefront of your mind the fact that actually it is two games. There is the game that is good for the player, and there's the game that is good for the game. By that I mean there's big money there maybe, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get it. I mean, yesterday Lynn quite clearly wanted a set sum of money for a holiday. And uh, his wife was being very supportive as well. And £6,000 was a, was a good deal for him. It doesn't sound the most amount of money, but there wasn't really any more money in the game. So that's what I mean. Sometimes the game just has to be good for the player. And then you get one of those spectacular ones where the gameplay says, yeah, go on, go on, go on. And that's what I'm hoping is now going to happen. Here come the names. I really hope this is going to be a go on, go on, go on game for you. Johnny, yeah. Take a seat, please. Yeah, Mark uh, Jardine. Yep, that's it. But we call you Jardine. Yeah. From I in Suffolk. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you should have been here a couple of years ago. We needed a plumber. He's a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> we had a shocking leak here a couple of years I've ago. I've left my tools at home now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. Wife Cleopatra, you got uh, two sons. How do you pronounce that? Te Teo? Teo, yeah. Teo. And Caspian. Where yep. do you get those names from? Um, my wife sort of picked them out and... Um, she always wanted to call her first son Teo, so we went along with that. Where's and, Teo uh, come uh, from? It means harmony. Uh, it's something it? to do with, um, uh, you know, like the Wiener Pooh sort of things and all that. Just nice and... <laughs> what you Wiener Pooh, you know, what the Teo Pooh and stuff like that. So. What have you got here? This looks very interesting. What's this? Um, right, OK, this is a, a box stroke card that my eldest son made for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't really want to open it up till towards the end or at the end. Do we'll you know see. what's in it? I do actually, yeah. So oh, we'll right, just okay. see what how that pans out. Yeah. And um, I've got a picture here. Oh, that's a great. My picture. two boys. That is a great picture. I'm really missing them and my wife. That's um, I took them to the zoo this summer for the summer holidays, and um, we had a great time. We saw the bird of prey show, and afterwards they both wanted a picture with the owl. It's a wonderful photo. You know, top boys. All right, there's loads of stuff here, um, particularly. The fact that you are the love child of Robbie Savage and Sir Ian Both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I go with it, I don't mind. It's, you know, I think that's a compliment. Um, and people started calling you Michael Bolton because of your hair as well. No, we're not supposed to clear this up. Well, it's in your file. Oh, well, yeah, Can you sing? Yeah. <laughs> not at all, don't even no. go there. <laughs> no, no, not at all, no. I, I, um, well, I, I went to the hairdressers and I, I just wanted to say it a bit different. And this was in the 80s and I just sort of said, can you just sort of do something with my hair? And then I ended up with a really sort of curly perm. <laughs> and, um, you know... Oh, you haven't brought a photo of that. No, no, I haven't. No, no, no. And, um, yeah, I went to a, a disco at the time, you know, and I was suited up as well, you know. I had a suit on and it was just... I just got loads of comments in it totally freaked me out, so I was all just trying to straighten it out. Yeah. So, uh, you can't sing. Can you play musical instruments? No, no. My eldest can, no. He's playing the piano. So. What, you can't even play the pipes? 
No. Uh... <laughs> right, I need you, please, to confirm that you chose box number eight at yeah, random yes. before the game began. Yeah, I feel good about that box. You feel good about I it? I do, yeah, I do, actually. I, got, I, I didn't think I'd get a vibe at all, but I kind of... Felt pretty good about that box. Excellent. Well, it's sealed by that independent adjudicator who yeah. seals all 22 boxes. And is the only person who knows where the money is. Johnny, I want this to be a fantastic game. Uh, we haven't had a mega money payout for no. a while. Yes. So, Johnny, would you do it for us? Yes. Good luck. Thank Have you. a great game. <laughs> I haven't got a system, and I just want to pick out a few numbers pretty quickly, if that's all right, Noel. I'm um, quite happy with that. Good. Brace yourselves, guys. If it's uh, going to be fast, we need it to be smooth and very dexterous. So could you all please now practice pulling the seal and lifting the lid <laughs> without, without actually doing it? So, West Wing, seal position, please. Get ready, guys. Go. <laughs> East wing, mount up, seal position. Go. <laughs> Ready? Good. You do realise that if one of you had pulled it at that point, the whole game would have been null and void. <laughs> Okay, Johnny, I think we're primed and ready to go. Come on, boy. Okay. Come on, Come on, boy. Come on, boy. We will go over there, 19. 19 mark, seal position, go! Oh. Is this a good idea? 75,000 out of your game. Second okay. box. 13, please. David, seal position, go! Five yeah. Seven. Please. Go. Yeah. Okay. 22, please. Death box Thanks, shell. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Debbie. Debbie, go! Good job. Yes! happy with that there was a bit of a nudge bit of a nudge but, uh, <laughs> that's a very good way of saying it yeah bit of a nudge 75,000 first box and then four blues that's good go <laughs> hello banker come on you haven't got long we're having a quick game offer, offer him a huge fortune and, and then just buzz off <laughs> his style is not popular with some people in the room You gotta say sorry to two guys. To two guys. Our two cameramen who get the, get the box openings. They're having a lie down at the moment. You were giving them less than two seconds in which to spot the box, the person in the wing, focus, crash in on the box. So we all knew what it was. Sorry, chat. So uh, well done. A bit of an apology, I think there. <laughs> You've been looking forward to this game. Yeah. Yeah, what an atmosphere. So, so are you looking forward to it because you're a big Michael Bolton fan? <laughs> or is it cricket? Or is it football? Oh. He thinks you're going to be trouble. And apart from that first box, the rest of it, of course, was excellent. And here's the mark of the round. Eight thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds is now the value of that box. Eight seven fifty open offer. I took the penny out there. I know I took the seventy-five thousand out, but I took the penny out. That's a big one. Yeah. You know, 
Come on, Mr. Banker. I'll have the question now, please. Eight thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. No deal now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'd only got to a financial statement. I hadn't actually got to the construction of a question there. May I say it again? £8,750, deal or no deal? No deal. No, thank, thank you very much, Charlie. <laughs> We can come off the accelerator a little bit now. We've had the opening round. Because yeah. I need to welcome you as the newbie and ask you where you've come from. Painting in Devon. Paint. Very nice down there. Dawn, could you please open box number two? It's lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Noel. It's like one of those DIY shows now, isn't it? You're, you're plumbing, and she's painting. painting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, am I distracting? Okay, no, not at all. Fifteen, please. Now, yeah. away we go. Good luck, Jardine. Five, Five breaths. Breath. Okay, we've got uh, a break now. The plumber from I in Suffolk has uh, come along here uh, with a style. He hasn't brought a system. He's got, sorry, system. He's got style. He just... Oh, that was a bad one. That was a good one. But he does have that style. Why should they come back? Uh, just come back to see if um, my little boy's prediction was right and uh, have a cup of tea. And it's a big dollar, big money on the board there. I'm going to take some of it. And I'm going to tell you that he is a great romantic. When he was um, courting, would one say, taking out uh, his wife, she is now Cleopatra, he took her to a very exclusive restaurant and decided that he would try and impress her by using a smattering of French whilst ordering. <laughs> it was an Italian restaurant. On Eva. <laughs> Ten, please. Beth. Beth. You alright today? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Could you open box ten and keep this game going? We've only had one bad hit. Good luck. Thirty-five thousand. What are you thinking? Um, I feel sorry for Beth a little bit because she keeps putting out high numbers. I know she wants to get on a blue run, so... It's not good. Those two big babies are still there, you know, so... Yeah. 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 Those two big babies are there. Hello, the two big babies are there. They are very big babies. You feel sorry for Beth? Oh, he's feeling sorry for you. All you want to do is pull out blues and you keep wrecking people's dreams. Yes, and he also feels sorry for you because you're a bit dippy, aren't you? <laughs> do you really think there's a special milk for cereal? For cereal milk? <laughs> 
gonna, do you know you get the little ones in your room for your tea? I didn't want that. I wanted the jug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit dippy. Oh, do we want to learn about anything more that's going on at the hotel? There's been complaints. Complaints about noises. Apparently the hotel clerk has an official complaint about, look for the face, room 114. <laughs> <laughs> it springs creaking. And the banker has seen the official complaint form, Debbie. <coughs> oh, well, we're back at the game now, Charlie. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 35,000 was a saving grace for the banker. Thank you, Beth, he says. You started at 8,750 and you seemed a little disappointed. However, even though you've lost two of the power five, you have made a lot of damage top left. He's going up to 13,000. <laughs> I'm not dismissive for that. That's a lot of money. But well, I'm ready for the question now, please. £13,000. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. Thank you. Thank you. Right. You said you hadn't got a system, but have you got it all written down up there? <laughs> I'm trying to listen out for the pigeons. Ah, oh, right. They make me feel... Nice and calm. <laughs> okay, sorry. No, would you mind just moving over this way a little bit, please? I just want you. Uh, I'm not telling you what to do on your own game show. <laughs> I said that right at the beginning when we started deal. I always said it's the players' game, not mine. It's not my show. No, I haven't got a system. You know, you all get vibes, and um, you were just blocking my vibe a little bit there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> where, where but that's not being like the route. No, no, fine. Where would you like me? You're fine there. That's great. Okay. I'll I'll operate in this area. <laughs> Twenty-one, please. Out. Yes. Good game, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Feeling quite atmospheric. Thank you, Al. 21. Look, mate. Come on, dude. Yeah. On you. Hope so. Good luck. That's interesting. Uh, you've got a fabulous block. He doesn't like blocks. 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. And then you got the nursery with two big babies in it. Mm, hello. Oh, where would you like me to stand? <laughs> oh, he wants me to hold the phone in the other hand. I'm disturbing his chakra. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call him a silly hippie plumber. <laughs> Can I? I'll take that. He says, you're a nice guy. You've come with determination and he respects that. Oh, OK. The loss of the 50,000 cannot be ignored. He's sticking. 
Alright, 13 grand again. Okay, I'm ready for the question please now. 13,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. that this was a prediction. Yeah, yeah. It's a prediction. Mm. I assume a financial prediction. Yeah. At which point are we allowed to know what Teo's prediction is? I'll let you decide that now, actually. I think later in the game. Okay. Seventeen, please. Harold! It's very calm here, isn't it? Very, very. And I sense it's very positive as well. Yes. Harold, keep it positive, please. No nasty negative number. Thank you. I hope so. What was it? Don't Don't that. it. What do you mean, what was it? <laughs> I think it was fairly evident from us all groaning. I know it were one of two. The biggest baby. And that has changed the complexion of your game. Come on in, Carmine. 16, please. Oh, he's going over to that corner again. Right, I do hope that's not going to turn out to be the maternity unit over there. Good luck, man. Right. That's good, I like that. suspect the banker would say that that's precarious. If you're here for the life changer, it's a precarious board. What do you think? There's still a lot of money on there, you know, I mean, that's good money to anybody. Yeah. Um, I think it's a fun board to play with. A fun board to play with. Mm. <laughs> it's true. Do come back to the fun factory. <laughs> Established a lot of things about him. The uh, bankers described him as a bit of a hippie uh, in, in a complimentary way, and you're quite comfortable with that. And uh, it says in your file that you also care very much about the environment, and you have a particular interest in the rainforest. Yeah, I just, you know, I feel that um, you know they're being chopped down far too quickly. And if I won a decent amount of money, I'll plant some trees somewhere. You know, just uh, put my little bit back. So. Yeah, I'll Okay, so £100,000 is in play. You describe it as a big baby. We've lost one of the babies. Yeah. And you've got a very nice backup there at 20,015 and 10. We've got to get to eight box with 5-3. Don't, don't lose the thousand. 5-3, I want. Okay, one for the trees. 14, please. Chris? Good luck, Daddy. Yeah, come on, come on. I'm really loving this game, but I want a fabulous outcome for this guy. 10,000, no. We've got a four and four, and I wanted a five and three. <laughs> Hello. Why are you out of breath? You've just been outside. Just been chopping down more knobs. <laughs> you got a lovely roaring fire going there, have you? <laughs> that Amazonian rainforest wood really goes up a tree. <laughs> you are a lovely, lovely man, aren't you? Yes. 
Oh, dear me. He said you came with a very good attitude. The attitude is great, but it's an attitude that really does require the luck to go with it. And with glee in his voice, he says, so I'm coming right down. The value of box eight, ooh, for Jardy, 4,000. Okay. 4K. Jardy. Yes. I think this is probably like the big decision. Where you're going to have to go for it. And if you go for it, it's not all or nothing. But yeah. that is the one, the one big one is just the only big, big one there. Yeah. So this is like the brave moment. I know, but it's a nice big one. Though, it is it? a big one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Jardy. What, you, what, what would you be telling other people? Ah, oh, you know me. Yes, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Um, I'll be saying, you know, dig up a bit of courage and steam on. Uh, got the courage? Yeah. Uh, no, you've all been great. Really, really nice people. And it's, it's surprising how quickly you bond with people on the show. And when you pull those big ones out, that hurts, that really, you know, that does hurt, and you do feel it. You had a it's spectacular arrival, didn't you? First two games, yeah. you had a quarter of a million each time. That knocked me for six, that did. That really did, because Israel was a, you know, diamond fella. What a lovely guy. Yeah. And the banker wouldn't let go of me. He saw me there, and he wouldn't let go, that little rascal. And he, kept <laughs> <laughs> he kept coming back. I don't think back anyone's described him as a little rascal. <laughs> This is fantastic. We've had big babies, and now we've got a little rascal. <laughs> OK, now I'm ready for the question, please. £4,000. Deal or no deal? <sighs> that is a no deal. No. Oh, no. Oh. Number nine, please, Ben. Ben, thank you. I'm sure I can flush out a blue for you. OK, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Good luck. He's been working on that for days. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, well. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This is getting very painful now. It's going right down the pan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. OK. Four, oh, oh, please. Courtney. All right, Courtney, you were uh, you were talking the game up, and uh, we are desperate for a blue now. Come on, we want to cheer. Okay. Hey! Ah, oh, George, yes, please, number five. George, a five box with a hundred thousand pounds, backed up by twenty thousand. It's a good five bucks. I had the hundred thousand yesterday. I hope I've not got it today. Oh, right. if it is, it is. That's the best way to go. I'll miss yeah. you. Yeah, that's all right. What's he going to do, little rascal? <laughs> Hello, you little rascal. Oh, I feel as if I want to go... <laughs> Fascinating example of why a backup is so important, says the backup. Yes, yeah, so six was enough yesterday. Okay, because of the backup, he's got to offer you a lot more than six. In fact, double. £12,000. What do you do with £12,000? Buy a few trees with that. It's tax-free, that's nice. That's right, yeah. Um, I'm really comfortable where I am. Uh, I'm fortunate like that. Um, my family are really good, and they're diamond. I love my wife to pieces, you know, to bits. Just, they're everything to me. But this is my time to be a bit selfish, you know. 
So, I'm ready for the question. Twelve thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. enjoyed a game this much for quite a while I think you're great and you brought such a different atmosphere here it's wonderful I just want these boxes to be kind to you good luck with these three thank you Money has eluded you. That's big money, but yeah, yeah. twenty grand is nice. Still yeah. twenty thousand. The shouts go up, and it is correct. This is just such an enormous decision because Jardy. He knows he's going to have to come up with an offer to stop you, but that offer is just going to be nothing. If it's an all-blue finish, obviously. OK. Come on in, mate. Number one, please. Best of luck, mate. All right. This has to be blue. Open it. Possible round. Wonder what the little rascal's going to say. <coughs> Why on earth is he taking so long? Wouldn't you think this was cut and dried now? Hundred pounds, seven hundred and fifty pounds. He's hardly stretching his brain to come up with it. Sorry to make us wait, okay. Oh, you were enjoying the incredibly painful silence. <laughs> oh, stop it. It's the last plumbing gag, he's feeling flush. Um, 420 quid. You got three figures in your life now, £100, £420 or £750? £420, deal or no deal? No deal, no, thank okay. you. Okay, he's going to the end. <laughs> I, just, I you can't are. believe I'm sitting here seeing this, this is great. <laughs> here we go then. Okay. Uh, this is what you brought to the table. £700. Hey! Open box number three, finish off the game for us. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you. I'm so disappointed about that. So disappointed. Teo uh, had a prediction, which yep. you know, I, I don't know, and um, hopefully you're going to... Uh, open it up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He said, uh, good luck, Daddy, from Teo. P.S. I think you're going to win 1p. Oh, this 
gets worse and worse. I'm incredibly disappointed, and, and now he's disappointed. Obviously, he wanted you to win one P. You've got a memory now to tell everybody while well, you've got your head under the sink, just adjusting the U-band. Jardy, it's 750 pounds.